In this video I'm going to show you how to create some ladders in your games where you can climb up and down them just like you're about to see on your screen now. Okay, Not the most fluent motion um, that you'll ever see but it's still a pretty cool technique to know. You don't have to use ladders either, you could draw things like um, trees to climb, uh, you could have steel poles, things like that. Okay, So just another feature you could add to your games to show a bit of complexity. So I'm going to close that up now and I'm going to pop over to Game Maker and get started on making this game. Now I'm not starting from scratch today, I'm just using the game that we created in a previous tutorial where we had a little man that could jump around the page. So it was a level like this one and a man could just jump from platform to platform. Okay, so what we're going to do is create a new sprite to begin with and that sprite we're going to call SPR underscore ladder. And we're going to create our ladder from scratch. So just click on Edit Sprite, press the blank piece of paper at the top to make a new sprite, and make sure it's 32 by 32. Double click on the transparent box that appears, zoom in a little bit by scrolling up, and I'm just going to select the line tool here. Um, we haven't really got a brown color in our simple selection box here, so what we might have to do is actually click up in our uh, colors here and select the brown and I'm going to make that line a little bit thicker to see how thick this line is here yeah, that's a good thickness just draw two stripes down the side that's the sides of our ladder and just draw one run of the ladder through the middle it's not quite the middle so I might go down a little bit that's looking more like the middle I think so I'll stick with that okay that's all we need to draw to create a ladder so press the green tick at the top, press the green tick again, and press OK, and you've got your ladder created. Turn it into an object by creating an object at the top and giving it the name obj underscore ladder and attaching the ladder sprite to it. Click OK once you've got that. Now we're going to open up our object man to code this ladder up. Okay, We're going to start on the step event, and we're going to go right to the bottom here. And we're going to go to the control tab first of all. We're going to click on this blue ball at the top, which is the check object. Okay, once we've got the check object thing in, we're going to change our object to object ladder. Okay. The X and Y will stay as zero, and we're going to check relative. And then we're going to click OK and open up a block of events. So hit this up arrow here. Inside the block of events, we need to go to the move tab first of all and set our gravity. The direction that our gravity needs to be set at is 270, so that's straight down, and gravity will be set to zero. We'll click OK. Once we've set the gravity, we'll just pop back to the control tab and we're going to set a variable. So right down the bottom, click the first VAR that you see, and that variable is going to be called V speed. Okay. The value will be set to zero. Once you've done that, you can close off your block of events. So you can See, we've just added this section in below our current step event. Okay. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go across to our up arrow event here, and we're going to add some actions in over here. First of all, go to your control tab, and we're going to put the blue ball in again, so to check an object. Just like before, it will be the object ladder. Leave X and Y as zero, and check the relative box at the bottom. Once you've done that, Click OK and open up a block of events again. First one we're going to put in is the very first little circle up here that's called check empty. X will remain as 0, Y is going to be set to minus 3. Objects will be only solid and we are going to check relative. So we'll click OK on that. Basically saying we can go up the ladder if we are actually having a collision with the ladder. OK, so what we're going to do next is just go to the Move tab and just jump to position. So this red arrow heading diagonally towards a point. We're just going to change the Y value to minus 3 and we're going to check relative. Alrighty, we can go to Control now and close off our block of events. That's what we're going to need there. Now you need to make sure that this section of code that we just put in comes above these two lines of code that we had there originally. So highlight all this new code and just simply drag it up above that code. You can see now our new code is above the old code. Alrighty, so that's got us climbing 
up the ladder, that little section of code there. What we also need to do is climb down the ladder. And we haven't got an event for going down yet, so quickly add an event. It's under keyboard and it is for the down key. Okay, and we're going to do similar sort of code. We're just going to check the object first and make the object object ladder. X and Y will be still at zero and we'll check relative. So we basically need to make sure that we're on the ladder. If we are, we can open up a block of events. We're going to check empty first of all and make sure Y. This time is going to be three. And we're going to check relative and click it on OK. So if the position is collision free, we're going to jump to position. So back in the move tab, select your jump to position option here, which is the red arrow pointing diagonally. Make the Y3 and the relative box will need to be checked. Click OK. Go to the control tab and close off your block of events. And that should do us, so we'll click OK. Just go into your level 1 and draw yourself a ladder in. So go to your objects, find your ladder. And maybe we could draw a ladder just going up here. So that's where I'm going to put my ladder in. If I just turn my grid off, I'll be able to see that a bit clearer. Yeah, it's looking good. So I'll press the green tick. Um, it's time to run our game, so let's press the green play button at the top. It will just take a moment to compile like usual. Give it 10 seconds or so, and we should be able to play our game. We can go and test this ladder. So we can move OK and we can jump OK. Let's see if we can climb this ladder OK. Looks like we can. So we can go up, we can go down, we can jump off the side, we can jump and latch back onto it. Alrighty, looking good. So I'm just going to close off that now. Close off that and we're finished. So just go to File and Save. If you want to take your game, game home and play it, make sure you go to File and Create Application. Alrighty, and you can just save that somewhere in your account. And we're done.